What's the crack, lads? We're back with our World Cup predictions. Yeah, we've got a couple of them wrong in the first video that we did. Um, but we've got a couple right, and we're still on track for our eventual pick, which was Portugal to win the whole thing out. So uh, we'll see whether I'll stick with that based on what I've seen. And we're going to go through it match for match. I mean, a couple of shocks already, I think definitely have been a couple of shocks or there has been a couple of shocks especially in the group stage obviously Japan had a really really heartbreaking defeat to Croatia on penalties but they were exceptional throughout the tournament South Korea I thought were really really strong as well but Brazil just turned on the Samba style France absolutely top quality England have been slowly but surely building momentum they look very solid even though Harry Maguire is there he's having a good tournament man I mean I've been look I would always eat my words. I would always hold my hands up and say that Harry Maguire has been okay. I mean, his touch, his overall ability, his technique is lacking, but he just seems to fit into that system and they kind of protect him very well. And then he's he is a big threat on set pieces, man. So he's been he's been fairly okay. Um, and then, of course, you've got a couple of the standout players like Gapo, or Gapo at uh, Netherlands. You've got Messi with his magic. You've got Neymar back from injury now and looking to produce a good performance against Croatia. They were excellent against South Korea. And then France. Mbappe has just lit this tournament up, man. He's he's unbelievable. I mean, would you guys prefer to build a team if you were hypothetically handed the reins to a squad and said, right, you can either buy Mbappe or Haaland. Who are you going to pick? Because they're both exceptionally good strikers, but... I just think with Mbappe, man, he just reminds me of original Ronaldo. Like that un, like unlimited potential, like his speed, his dribbling, his touch, it can all improve. Um, but he's just so, so, so quick. He's rocket fast and he's just got such an unbelievable shot on him as well. Uh, he's just an all-around good player. And then, of course, we have the saga. The drama continues with Cristiano Ronaldo. So... Yeah, look, it's been a fairly good tournament, man. I've really enjoyed it. Like, I genuinely have. I've watched as many games as I possibly can, working on one screen, watching on the other screen um, as much as you can. But yeah, it's been it's been really fun. I mean, Morocco probably one of the shocks of the tournament as well. Um, that was an incredible match. I was actually listening to that on the radio. I felt like I was back as a child listening to the matches on the radio uh, when they weren't always shown live or I couldn't watch them or you'd be out in the sun or whatever uh, in the summer out playing you'd have it on in the radio in the background or whatever um, that was an unreal match uh, to even listen to uh, with the penalties I thought Spain would be disappointed I think that's two World Cups now that they've gone out uh, in the in the penalty with true penalties or with penalties so yeah I think moving on right we're starting tomorrow night with the Netherlands or tonight by the time this video goes out we're going to be starting with the 3 o'clock kickoff of Croatia and Brazil. That's going to be a cracker. I think Brazil are going to are going to clinch that, lads. Croatia are a very technically sound team. But I do feel they had to pull everything out to, to get that win against Japan. I think Brazil will beat them. I think it might be like 2-1. Um, you know, it depends what Brazil show up. But if they continue to assert themselves the way that they've been playing, I don't see anybody stopping Brazil. Uh, until maybe Argentina, who I think, speaking of Argentina, I think Messi will turn on the magic. I think this is going to be one of the ties of the game, the ties of the World Cup, lads, this Netherlands Argentina team, right? You've got a really tactically sound Netherlands who haven't really been like free flowing or anything. I know they scored three goals against USA. Um, they got them on the ropes and they did get a couple of good goals, but they're so solid at the back. They look really, really, you know, deep at the back. They've got some exceptionally good players. Van Dijk, obviously, will be lo loving the challenge of going up against Messi. Um, it'll be interesting to see who starts for Argentina, what kind of team they have in. Will McAllister start? Because they have switched things around a little bit. Uh, but I think that could be a really, really tough game. I would not be surprised if Netherlands turned over Argentina. I mean, it's going to take a phenomenal performance from three or four of Argentina's best players. I think Netherlands will be happy to just soak up the pressure for as long as possible put it into the pressure cooker, there is massive, massive pressure on Argentina. I would say there's more pressure on Argentina than Brazil, if if, if, if it was me. Uh, I think that there's such a weight on the shoulders of Messi. Um, he's a joy to watch, like he's unbelievable to watch, but I do think that if they are put into the pressure cooker, it'll be the other players that, you know, might struggle, you know, and it could be a, a kind of fairly heated game. I think now it's, it's win or go home, really, so I think it's going to be a very heated game. That's going to be very tactics uh, driven, I think, and tactic centric, especially with Van Gaal there. And then Argentina are going to try and get a goal early, I think. So it's going to be an exciting one. 
But first, we have Croatia and Brazil. As I said, I just still feel there is a big performance in Croatia. They've kind of not hit the heights of previous tournaments yet, but I still feel that they've got a serious squad, a serious midfield. If they can score a goal or two against Brazil, maybe if they can score an early goal and force Brazil to come out and play, Brazil are going to go balls to the wall anyway, man. They don't do defensive football. It's all Samba style and they've got Casemiro in the middle doing a lot. You know, he's doing God's work in the middle, getting the ball back and hassling and harrying. But I do think if Croatia score earlier, we could have a cracker on our hands. And then we're facing into Saturday's England versus France game. Now look, lads, I've got a lot of English friends, right? I've got a lot of English friends. Um, and I do think that, like, that's the 7 o'clock kickoff. I know I'll get to Morocco and Portugal in a second. I think that France, right, this is where I'm coming from. I think France have probably been the standout team in terms of Mbappe is on fire. They have so many injuries, like so many injuries to their starting eleven. Um and even players that have just like, you know, Kante and Pogba, uh, you know, they, they have been weakened, but they've looked really, really strong. I don't think that this is the coach's ideal starting eleven, but they've been super strong. And I think Mbappe has been the player of the tournament in terms of like Messi has been there, obviously. Um, I think he's been phenomenal. You know, and obviously, I think Vinicius Jr. has had a good good tournament as well. And there's been a couple of other lads there as well. Uh, Hakimi has been exceptional for Morocco as well. Uh, and then you had, obviously, Portugal coming up with, with a massive win against Switzerland. But I do think that Mbappe, just for pure excitement, man, when he gets the ball at his feet, there's this, like, wave of excitement. It's like Cristiano Ronaldo when he got the ball or Messi when they were younger. They're going to have a lot to do, man. England, and I've said this to all my English friends, England are going to have a lot to do. Uh, to, to maintain Mbappe and to maintain France and then they can throw on Giroud you know if Giroud doesn't start they have a couple of options on the bench like they have serious pace with Dembele with Mbappe they've got technique with Griezmann with Giroud they've got powerhouses at the back it's going to be tough I think England are going to find it hard I think Saka is going to find it tough up front I think Foden will probably start he's going to find it hard but look these are some of the best players in the world and I think that England will show it and I am going to predict that Tomorrow, Argentina are going to get ahead in Netherlands. Brazil are going to win to set up a Brazil-Argentina semi. And I'm going to say that I think England are going to get through as well. as I think France are due kind of a little blip. I think they're due not playing their best game. And I think England are due a really good, solid performance. Look, Senegal weren't up to it. I didn't think that they weren't really good enough. Uh, England just didn't, never really got out of second or third gear until they, they had to. And then they just smelled blood in the water and they just absolutely destroyed them uh, with the goals coming at perfect times. But Bellingham, Declan Rice look really solid in midfield. Harry Kane is yet to explode. I think he'll be good against France. He'll really relish that challenge against uh, the centre-backs of France. Um, and I do think that England are going to sneak a win there, lads. Uh, I think that they've been very solid all tournament. And it'll be interesting to see their formation. Now, could France beat England 3-0? Yes, they could. Could England beat France 3 0? I don't think so. But if France turn up and they're all guns blazing and Mbappe is on it, like I think England will have a very, very tough game. But I think that's not going to happen. I think England will really frustrate them and just keep it super, super like tight. Um and maybe try and get a goal from a set piece and then try and you know bring in the pace. They've got a really good bench as well, and a load of different options that are very hard to plan for if you are France. And then I think Morocco and Portugal. Look, Morocco's been the fairy tale. But I am going to stick to my pick of Portugal. I think that if they can navigate and keep Ronaldo happy being a super sub, lads, what a sub to bring on. Jesus, like, I mean, absolutely unbelievable sub to bring on. Um, Ramos, the guy that they had that they, they started last, they scored a hat-trick. You can't drop him. Uh, João Felix has looked exceptional, I think, in, in bits and parts. Uh, Bernardo Silva, Bruno, like, they look solid at the back. Um, you know, they dropped Cancelo the last day as well and they didn't really miss him. You know, it's it, they've serious bench depth as well. And I think that an England-Portugal semi-final would be unbelievable. I think it would be absolutely unbelievable. Um, and I, I look, I am going to stick to my pick of Portugal, lads. I think Portugal are going to go to the final. And, you know, I mean, we're all dreaming of setting up in Argentina-Brazil, but I don't think it's going to happen. So my predictions are Argentina-Brazil to meet in the semis, England and Portugal to meet in the other semi. I think Portugal will win, maybe on penalties against England. There's going to be a coin toss in it. And I think Brazil are going to beat Argentina. It's going to set up Brazil versus Portugal. And I'm still sticking to Portugal winning, lads. I'm still sticking to Portugal. I think I've seen enough of them. And we're going to take a bit of a gamble. 
also as well lads we do have the the top scorer i think mbappe again he has been the player of the tournament for me he's super exciting he's banging in the goals i would also say that ramos and messi um have been exceptional for what i've watched of them rashford i think is get, is having a good tournament as well you know he's got three goals there so i think if mbappe scores maybe one more goal uh, I think he'll probably win it, but it will be interesting to see because Messi could go on a run to the final. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting, man. I think I've really enjoyed this World Cup. I know there's been a lot of hassle with it and a lot of talking points with it, but in terms of the matches, I think I've really enjoyed it. It's been exciting. So that is it for me, lads. That is my prediction. I'm still sticking to Portugal. I'm doubling down on Portugal. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, make sure and subscribe. We usually do um, a lot of eFootball stuff, but yeah, we will be back quite soon and uh, let me know your predictions and let me know your comments am i mad am i crazy you know are france going to win it out are england going to win it out or brazil going to win it out are argentina going to win it out maybe netherlands maybe i'm discounting netherlands or morocco too much let me know in the comments below as always and tell me uh, how foolish i am but yeah that is it for me lads i'll talk to you later